disappointment for Johnny Gray today out of the chase of the championship. Johnny, tell us what happened. Well, I guess that's why they call it drag racing, you know, but but uh, it's just one of those things that happens in, in drag racing and any other form of motorsports. We had a little uh, 10 cent piece break. These, as you can tell, these little clips come in and they hold these chute packs in. This one over here broke, and when the wheelie bar hit the ground and the car bounced back up, this came out, the chute pack flew up like this, and it pulled the wire out. Throwed the chutes out, picked the back of the car up, took the tires off, and we were history. We're done for the day. What's your emotion like now being out of the countdown? Uh, you know, the pressure's off of trying to get in, so uh, we would have loved to have got in, but uh, you know, we're just going to go out and try to wreck their chance, everybody's chances of getting, being the champion. So we're going to go. Uh, we learn from our mistakes, and we'll go out and we'll have this car ready to run hard for the championship next year. I'm not discouraged at all. All right, thank you. How big is Indy? Well, we have a Fram Specs that will show you how it is in terms of number of participants. Indy by the number, 752 entries. And remember, they actually start running here on Wednesday. The pros come out on Friday and run all the way today. And coming into this race, Paul, or today in the final eliminations, we'd already seen 4,207 runs down the racetrack. Great and long history here. And there's Bob Tasca. <laughs> it's over for him. He is in the countdown to the championship. The races after this All one right, that Bob, lead you, you down to the championship crown and that beautiful gold Wally. Mike Neff tunes it, drives it. One very sharp man. Goes up against Jimmy Kroc, that crew chief right there, who really gets it down the track. And Robert Hyde's awfully good at that. Eric Lane is Jimmy Prox's co crew chief. He says, if we can get off the starting line, we're loaded for Bear 406 to a 407. Mike Neff had that tuning figured out. 406, 312 miles an hour, and a pretty good, or excuse me, a 408 with a six as he goes against his teammate Robert Hyde. Nice, nice job, 408, 312. Bernie Federley calls out the numbers. John was looking at says, how did Mike never go right down that lane? I think the left lane, if you get it off the starting line initially, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. And obviously, Mike Neff hit the throttle. It was hooked up. And at that point, it just carried all the way down through their nice pass advance of the next round. So here is the Lucas Oil ladder. As we look ahead to that second round, and Jeff Aran, after that upset, is going to take on Mike Neff, Matt Hagen, and his teammate, Jack Beckman. Then Bob Tass is going to have lane choice over Melanie Troxel, and Ron Capps still trying to get his first U.S. Nationals win, going up against Daniel Wilkerson, who's trying to get his first fuel win ever. Well, first round in Nitro has had more than a chair of moments. Terry McMillan blows that engine to pieces. They're rebuilding it now because he also won that round and is still in competition. And Tony Schumacher goes up against Bob Vandergriff. And Vandergriff beats him. The shoots come out on Tony Schumacher's car. And that keeps Vandergriff's hope alive in that 10th place battle. Number one qualifier, Bruce Pendragon, is upset by Jeff Aren. I'll tell you what, that Nitro first round was great. Mike Neff takes down his teammate, Robert Hyde. That's the Nitro recap for you. Pro Stock.